We're full of rage and anger about what's happened in America today and we said on the day that it was going to be announced we would come to the US Embassy uh, to show both solidarity with everybody in America who is in shock really at this disgusting opinion coming from the Supreme Court and also because we know it's going to affect everybody across the globe. I think like a lot of women of my generation, we just took it for granted that the struggle for women's rights, um, you know, had come a very long way, maybe not all the way, but this was certainly one of the fundamental decisions that, you know, underlies our sense of equality in the U.S. Um, and it's just something that we're going to need to address politically and find a way to turn it back. We all got the notification on our phones and thought this is the end of something and we wanted to come out and fight for it and to make our voices heard and I just feel so angry for women everywhere that we could regress. I saw a statistic today that was the US are one of four countries that are actually going backwards on abortion rights and yeah. So I hopped on a train, 45 minutes, here I am. Obviously, we're in London, there's not lots we can do, but being here outside the American Embassy is just a message of solidarity, I guess, towards American women, because although it seems like it's not a problem here, like there's, America is one of the, it's the most powerful country in the world, one of the most rich countries in the world. It, if it can happen there, surely it can happen anywhere.